In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how you can create your very own low content book which you can sell on Amazon KDP. There are people making thousands of dollars per month, ordinary people like you and I. I did my research and found a tool that makes it extremely easy to pump out these low content books. After watching this tutorial, you'll be able to create your very own low content book even if you don't have any experience. So what are low content books? Now, first of all, to get a clear idea, let's talk about low content books. Okay. What are low content books? A low content book basically refers to a type of book that has a minimal text and focuses on your visual elements. So like, look at these books, you know, there's very less text, but mostly it has, you know, proper visual elements and interactive activities. These books are often popular among, you know, different age groups, including kids and adults. So, you know, there's uh, different uh, kids books, which practice minimalism and all that. There's, you know, puzzle books like these. They can range from journals, curling books, calendars, activities, books to sketchbooks. So even if you like uh, come here and write, you know, let's say a calendar book, for example, Look at that. So these are low content calendar books, look pretty great, have an amazing design and great, great stuff. The beauty of low content books is that they offer a creative outlet and allow individuals to fill in the content themselves. You know, these white spaces, you can fill the things in yourself, whether it's coloring, writing, drawing, or planning. So now let's take a closer look at some of the examples of low content books. So for that, we're here on Amazon to see the pricing and ratings as well. One popular type, is the journal such as the my emotions journal so i'm going to come here and write my emotions journal we're going to search that up and look at that amazing rating and the price is pretty good as well so this particular journal is designed for kids and is available on amazon at a price range of you know approximately five to ten dollars as you can clearly see and another example is the adult coloring book for stress relief so if i write stress relief coloring book there we go so you have the stress relief coloring book again great designs it's minimalistic and uh, you know it has great titles and everything and look at the beauty of their design you know pretty great stuff and these have gained significant popularity these coloring books usually feature intricate designs and patterns to help relax and unwind okay now calendars are another type of low content book so if i write up here calendars okay and, uh, you know, it could be a planner or it could be, you know, better yet, you could search up pocket calendar. OK, now, for instance, a pocket calendar for the years, you know, 2023 or 2024 might have a floral cover just like this one with blank pages inside. These calendars typically include line pages for, you know, your journaling, uh, noting, you know, many of your important dates and all that. And look at this. It's totally blank on the inside. And uh, the fun thing about this is that these calendars typically include line pages for journaling, noting important dates, and even adding pictures if desired. Additionally, activity books like the Clever Kids activity book, like if I come here and write Clever, come up here, and we're going to search up for the Clever Kids activity book. Okay, you're going to write that. And you're going to find, you know, all these math puzzles for clever kids and all these. So these are basically activity books. Pretty great. And these contain illustrated mazes, word searches, and color by number pages. These books are extremely engaging and provide entertainment while promoting cognitive development. Now, one advantage of, you know, actual low content books is their affordability. They're often priced between $5 and $10, making them accessible to a wide audience. As you can see, despite their lower cost, these books still offer great value and enjoyment. They come with attractive covers, clearly, and allow readers to personalize the content by filling in the pages according to their preferences and creativity. So to create a low content book, you need two main elements, a PDF file for the book's interior, okay, and a cover template. The first step, is to go to explain the socials.com slash book vault. Okay, so we're gonna write explain the socials.com slash book bolts. Okay, you're just gonna enter that. Or you know, just click on the link down in the description below. This will take you to my personal sign up page, which allows you to sign up for a three day free trial and use the discount code creator20 for 20% off. To sign up, click on the top right corner where it says login. OK, and uh, then once you're headed into that phase, they're going to take you to the whole sign up thing. 
then you're going to choose your plans. Okay, BookBolt has two different plans available, the newbie and the pro plan. I'll let you decide which one's best for you. The newbie plan includes three-day free trial, access to full 130 plus interior templates library, Amazon search volume, KDP spy, and 24-7 customer support. The pro plan includes all of that plus 15 plus different puzzle creation softwares. I myself have the pro plan, however. If you're new to low content book publishing or want to try out BookBold, the newbie plan may be a good starting point. It provides access to essential features at an affordable price. On the other hand, if you're serious about low content book publishing and want to access to advanced features, analytics, and puzzle creation software, the pro plan might be for you. Designing books in Bolt Studio. When you log into the BookBolt Studio, you'll create a creative space where you can bring your book to life. To get started, click on the create new project. So we're going to go on create. You're going to head over to BookBolt Studio, which is going to look fairly like this. OK, so to get started, as I said, you're going to go on project, click on new project. OK, and from there, choose cover and interior as we want to design both aspects of the book. And then you're obviously going to choose a name. Let's imagine we're creating a travel journal about Europe. Select the type of book you prefer, such as a paperback book. OK. So, um, yeah, this should be good. For example, we'll go with the trim size of six by nine inches, which is a popular choice for journals and notebooks. Next, decide the number of your pages. OK, in this case, let's aim for 120 pages. OK, so 120. There we go. You can easily adjust the page count by clicking up the arrow to increase or uh, typing the desired number. Additionally, you can choose whether you want a bleed or no bleed option depending on your preference. Once you've made your selections, go ahead and create the project. So here we go. Now you'll see a panel of thumbnails on the left side of the screen. The first thumbnail represents the cover of your book. It consists of the front page on the right side and the back page on the left side. As you scroll down, you'll find subsequent thumbnails, okay, representing each page of your book, starting from page one, the then page two, and so on. These thumbnails provide a visual representation of your book's layout, allowing you to easily navigate through the project. By organizing your book into pages, the Book Bowl Studio provides a clear structure for designing the book cover and interior. Let's move on to filling in the interior pages with content and designing the cover to make it visually appealing and enticing to readers. To start filling interior pages of your travel journal, locate the maze icon labeled page templates. Here it is. Okay. Within the Big Bowl Studio. Clicking on it reveal a range of uh, template options for different page styles. For our example, let's just go ahead and choose the blank template with ruled paper in the wide variant. Okay. So again, if I were to go back over here, go on uh, templates. Yeah, there we go. So there's the ruled variant. I'm going to go with the wide ruled. Let's choose the first page and there we go. And uh, after that, to start filling in the tier pages of a travel journal, uh, just go ahead. This template is ideal for allowing neat writing and organized entries. Okay. Now with the template selected, apply to all the pages of your journal. If you want to, I'm excluding the cover. This step ex ensures a consistency, uh, throughout your book. Okay. So if I were to go on the page, there we go. Now, every page of a travel journal will be filled with rule lines, providing guidance for writing and keeping your entries organized. Whether it's recording daily activities, jotting down favorite destinations or capturing special moments, these rule lines will help maintain a neat and cohesive layout. Moving on to the cover design, let's make it visually appealing and reflective of the journal's theme. Choose the paper color that complements your desired aesthetic. For example, selecting black can create a sleek and a really nice look. So if I were to go over here, uh, just choose black over here. There you go. So look at that. A very uh, sleek and sophisticated look, as I stated. And then you can just make the uh, lines white if you want to. Uh, so, so look at that. So the lines are also visible now. Upon selecting the paper color, the cover template will appear. Although it might be hidden beneath the existing template, adjusting the template opacity allows you to see the cover design elements more clearly. Simply locate the opacity setting. Okay, it's going to be right here and uh, then, you know, just work with them accordingly. To add text to the cover, access the text button position on the left hand side of the screen. Clicking on it will provide a range of text options for you. Okay, so for our purpose, choose the heading option. A text box will appear on the template as so. OK, now, obviously, let me just change the color. There we go. Next, repeat the process to add another heading. This time, just uh, type in Europe. OK, uh, because this is a Europe planner. There we go. Now, this second heading can be positioned beneath or beside the main heading, depending on your design preferences. Remember to align it correctly using the guidelines. 
By incorporating clear and concise headings on the cover, readers will immediately understand the purpose and focus of your travel journal. The combination of travel log in Europe establishes a visual connection, enticing potential readers and creating a sense of anticipation for the adventures within. Once you've customized the headings, take a moment to review the overall appearance of the cover, consider the font style, sizes, and any additional elements that you may want to incorporate, such as decorative graphics or illustrations that reflect European landmarks or cultural symbols. Remember, the cover serves as the first impression of your travel journal, capturing the essence of your experience and inviting readers to embark on their journeys through your pages. With your interior pages filled with rule lines and the cover designs to perfection, your travel journal is taking shape. Now it's time to add personal touches, captivating content, and additional design elements to make it truly unique and engaging. Let your creativity soar as you bring each page to your life, weaving stories, memories, and inspiring inspirations for your readers to cherish. To add graphics to your travel journal, use BookBolt Studio. Follow these straightforward steps, navigate to the page where you want to add graphics. Well, let's begin with page one, okay? So on the screen, you'll find a button labeled File Library, as so. Click on it to access the image library. Inside, you can search for specific images using keywords. For example, if you want to add a picture of Rome, okay, you can just go to Pixabay or Unsplash, okay? And over here, let's say I'm going to add Rome. There we go. Now, type Rome in the search bar, as I did, and look at that. You get pictures of Rome. How cool is that? Once you found the perfect image, so let's say uh, this is the perfect image for me. Uh, in Enhancer Journal, let's dive into the process of adding and customizing it to uh, BookBowl Studio. Follow these detailed steps to bring your pictures to life and create a unique and personalized journaling experience. So, begin by selecting the image that resonates with your journal theme or captures a special memory. Click on the image to add it to your page. Now let's explore the various customization options available to make your image truly unique. You have the flexibility to adjust the size of your image, allowing you to make it larger or smaller as so. Look at that. Then additionally, you can easily move the image around the page, finding the perfect position that complements your journal entry. If you're feeling adventurous and want to unleash your creativity, it's time to play with the image's appearance. BookBowl Studio offers a range of exciting effects to transform your image. For example, you can offer a classic black and white effect, giving your pictures a timeless and vintage look. Alternatively, you can just adjust the brightness and darkness levels, adding depth and contrast to your images. These customization pages allow you to evoke different moods and emotions within your journal pages. For those seeking an artistic flair, you have the option to make the image serve as a background. By adjusting the image's opacity, which is right above over here, so there's the image, and here is gonna be your opacity as so. So as I stated, by adjusting the image's uh, you know, opacity, you can create a transparent overlay that provides a captivating backdrop for your journal entries. This way you can effortlessly write on top of the image, incorporating it seamlessly into your pages. By following these simple yet powerful techniques, you can add captivating pictures to your journals and infuse them with your personal touch. This ability to customize the size, position, and appearance and background of your images empowers you to create a truly unique and personalized journaling experience. Let your imagination soar as you transform your journal into a visual masterpiece, capturing your cherished memories, thoughts, and inspirations. Remember to keep on saving your project with the save button up here. Okay, so the progress is persevered. If you have the autosave feature enabled, your changes will be automatically saved. To convert your project into a PDF, go to the project menu over here. Okay. And, uh, you know, on the top left on the screen from there, select the download option. And then you'll be prompted to choose the format for downloading. Select the option that suits your needs, such as zip file. Then allow some time for the download to complete. While you can wait, you can take a short break or grab a cup of coffee. Once the download finishes, okay, so let's say I'm going to just do that. So once the download finishes, save the zip file to your computer. Inside the zip file, you'll find two PDF files, one for the interior and one for the cover. The interior PDF contains 120 blank pages, okay, ready for your journaling adventures. The cover PDF showcases your personalized travel lock cover designed based on the template that you selected. Now, are you ready to take your journal to the next level and share it to the world? Let's go through the step-by-step -step process of uploading your journal to Amazon KDP using the amazing BookBowl platform. Follow these detailed instructions to bring your journal to life. Begin by signing up for a free account on your Amazon KDP, okay? So if I were to go on Amazon KDP as so, there we go, Kindle Direct Publishing. It's a user-friendly website that allows you to publish your book without any cost. Once you've logged in, create and uh, click on new book, okay? It's pretty simple. Choose the format for your book. Since we're focusing on a paperback selection journal, uh, click on create a book. 
choose paperback option, enter relevant keywords to help readers find your journal. For example, if your journal is about traveling in Europe, use keywords like European Travel Journal. You can also include a subtitle to provide more information, fill in your name as the author, and if it's not part of the series, leave the section blank. Craft an enticing description for your journal, look at the other best-selling books in your genre for inspiration, and create a captivating description that highlights the unique aspects of your journal. Select the appropriate publishing rights, indicating that you own the copyright to the journal. Choose the suitable categories for your journal. Okay, select categories like nonfiction, travel, Europe, journal, or nonfiction, travel, Europe, Western. Indicate if your journal contains adult content. Save and continue to the next step. Decide whether you want to publish your journal uh, with or without the ISBN. Specify the publication date as today's date. Choose the option for a black and white interior with a white paper and select the appropriate tomb size with uh, 6 by 9 inches. Ensure no bleed option is checked. Upload your manuscript, which is interior of your journal. Book World Studies allows you to upload PDFs, which is pretty great. Upload your book cover by selecting the cover file. This is another PDF that you've designed for your journal cover. Choose the cover file and let it upload. Take a moment to preview your book using the built-in book previewer. This allows you to see how your journal will look once it's published. Review each page, including the cover, and ensure everything appears as intended. Approve the preview. If you're satisfied, check the printing cost summary provided by Amazon. This will give you an idea of how much it costs to print each copy of your journal. Set your pricing by selecting the appropriate territories and primary marketplace. Determine the minimum price based on the printing cost and your desired royalty, keeping in mind that competitive pricing may attract more readers. Click publish your paperback book and wait for the review process to complete. It may take up to 72 hours for your journal to become available for purchase. And yeah, congratulations. Your journal is now under review and will soon be published. Remember, you can always make changes to your journal's details, pricings, and availability after it's been published. BookBolt has made the entire process seamless and user-friendly, providing you with the tools that you need to bring your creative vision to life. If this is something you want to start with yourself, I leave my personal link to BookBolt as well as a discount code in the description down below for you to get started with. This will always get you the best deal and help support my channel. Thank you so much. Find more BookBolt videos on my channel.